think we just bought a freaking boat. We just bought a boat. Oh no, I don't know. I'm stressing out. I'm Emma. That's Josh. This is our 50 foot catamaran and you're watching Sailing Uncut. everybody so today's episode is going to be a little bit different and we thought we would do a flashback to when we first saw the boat and then when we bought it we bought it we bought it spoilers we <laughs> bought the boat <laughs> so you may notice in this um in this clip we don't get the boat survey and that's not normal buying a boat but the boat had already had a survey done about a month prior to us going and looking at it so we thought and and in the survey obviously it said that there was lots of stuff that needed to be fixed so we thought well getting another survey is pretty much pointless because all they're going to do is tell us, yeah, there's lots of stuff that needs to be fixed. So we thought, well, we were happy with the first survey. Apparently the survey was quite reputable. So we just thought, yeah, we'll just go with that one and we'll we'll figure it out when we get to it. So definitely not a conventional way to buy a boat. And this is actually the first boat that we went in, looked at. We were looking at them online for about a year. Um, but then when this one popped up, we just saw that it was an amazing opportunity and we just wanted to jump on it straight away. And so guys, before you watch this flashback, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out and enjoy the flashback. All right, it's three in the morning. We have the car packed. We are ready to go. We're going on an adventure. We are so excited. Let's yeah, go. Let's Let's do this. All right. Ten three. Let's do this. Ready to go? Let's go. It's completely dark outside. We'll um, bring you all back when the sun rises. We are nine hours and we are about to go see the boat for the first time. Are you excited? Oh my god. I'm so excited. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we just we went and saw the boat and then and then he was like, oh my god, I am so jumbled. He was like, go have a coffee and just think about it. And then I said yes. Rupert just called Josh and was like, "So you know, what do you think?" And we and we made an offer. Well, we put it, yeah, we put an offer, offer in. So we went away for coffee, and then he's like, "Oh, well, we can't take, you know, but we can take." And I was like, "Yeah, okay." And then Josh was just like, <laughs> "Okay, when can we come and put the deposit on it?" Like we haven't even spoken. We just saw this boat. We don't know what we're doing with Gigi. We don't know. Like we're literally at the Gold Coast right now. We have nowhere to stay. The owner of the boat says that we can potentially stay on the boat tonight. Is that what it said? Yeah, you said we can stay on the boat tonight and go for a sail oh, tomorrow. And go for a sail tomorrow. We don't have any clothes. We oh, want to just come down here, look at the boat, and like then just be like, oh, you know, probably not for us, and go home. What have we done? I think we just bought a freaking boat. We just bought a boat. Oh no, I don't know. I'm stressing out. We're literally on the side of the road. Like, I just... Josh is like, oh, he's calling. Quick answer. Imagine if I was still on the call to him. That would be so <laughs> embarrassing. All right, we'll check in with everyone later, but I think we just um, kind of bought a boat. I don't think you realize what just actually happened. Okay, I got yes this time yesterday, this exact time yesterday, we saw an ad on in the internet for a catamaran. I was like, oh that's cool, let's just email the guy, you know, see what's it about. He called me, we spoke. We literally got in the car at 3 a.m., drove how long? Nine hours. Nine hours to the Gold Coast. We looked at this boat, this boat, this exact boat. They were like, oh just come have a look and, and we met the owner. The owner came and showed us around his beautiful boat and Loved to show off every detail that he has put into this boat. I'm gonna make a long story short. It's not really that long because it only happened like today. Okay, wait, so we left, right, and we're like, we're just gonna go get a coffee and just like talk it over. And then we came back, and then all of a sudden they were like, hey, do you wanna sleep on the boat overnight? And we're like, oh, that sounds awesome. And they're like, do you wanna go for a sail tomorrow? Oh, that sounds awesome. And then we're like, oh, why don't we just buy it? So they're like, oh, well, if you're gonna buy it, then you have to put it down a deposit. So then Joshua was like, yeah, let's just put down a deposit. And the owners are so lovely. So she brought us shampoo, soap, 
She was so upset because she couldn't get us any food. She wanted and a towels. toothbrush. <laughs> she was upset because she couldn't get us a toothbrush. And they're gonna come back at 10 o'clock tomorrow and go sailing the on this boat. 50 foot boat. That we apparently own, sort of. We signed a piece when, of paper. <laughs> we signed and initialed so many pieces of paper. So I don't know. Congratulations! We did it! Our first sunset! Good morning. Good morning. First night on this boat. Wow. I slept so good. I slept so good. It was a lot colder than I was expecting. Oh, it's exhausted. I think we should go get coffee and energy drink for you. Figure out what we've done. Yeah. And today we're going sailing. Is that? <laughs> it's so funny looking at the footage, that last clip on that boat, I was just so overwhelmed. There was so much going on around us and it was just a whirlwind of two days. It has been a long two days. Like we hadn't even expected to stay overnight on the boat. Like we just, yeah, it was a complete whirlwind. Like we had convinced ourselves that we were only going down there to have a look at it. We did not expect at all to suddenly decide, hey, let's just buy the boat. <laughs> So we had put the deposit down and then we had four weeks that we needed to come up with the money and pay for it. Otherwise, if we weren't able to, then we would lose that deposit. Just so in case anything happened, cash flow wise, we could we could sort it out. So hey, look, yeah, give us four weeks. We'll come up with the rest of the money and we will um, see you back here in four weeks. So that's what we said and that's what we that's did. That's what happened. So from the Gold Coast, we obviously drove all the way back up to the Yapoon and then tomorrow we're going to show you us going down and being official boat owners and doing the delivery. Oh my God, pick up a boat. Yeah, that's so exciting. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.